just got back the other night from New Jersey. I was in New York and New Jersey for a few weeks um, for the next up and then to visit people and, you know, do me. But I am so glad to be home. Like, I love, I love visiting my friends and I love getting to go to these places and, like, travel and stuff. But seriously, being home is the best thing ever. Missed my bed. I missed baby Margo. I missed my things. I missed having more than four outfits in a suitcase. I missed doing laundry. I missed driving a car. Actually, today, I was like, oh, I'm going to clean my room. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to organize my room because it's, you know, trashed from when I was packing and I was just throwing things around. Somehow that turned into me completely dismantling my entire room. I literally had everything off of my desk, uh, under my desk, on top of my bed, and I just spent like three hours putting things back and throwing things away and doing some spring cleaning in, you know, the beginning of June. Usually spring cleaning is something that's like, oh, that's a great idea. That's a nice thought. Never going to find the time to do that. I've decided to spring clean my life. Or summer clean my life, I guess, because it's not really spring anymore. Like, I'm talking, like, I want to get rid of so much stuff. I want to get rid of clothes that don't fit me anymore, I, even if it's smaller. And I'm like, oh, I'll lose weight. No, I'm just, I need to get rid of everything. I need to get rid of books and give those away, books that I've read that's, like, time to pass you on. I still have papers that I wrote in high school. Why? But it's time to let those things go. And not just, like, physical stuff. Like, people. There are people that I've kept around in my sphere that like I we don't talk or we haven't talked and I just feel there are people that need to like just be swept out. And I have things and ideas that you know I don't know like I've held on to and I'm like eh, why am I holding on to this? So yes summer cleaning because when you clean and you get rid of things you purge all that whatever and you finally have room to let things in like I get rid of the bad people in my life then I can actually let the good people in my life I get rid of all the books that I don't need I can go buy more books that I haven't read yet also I can get rid of things that I thought defined me or things that I just you know always thought I was or I wasn't for instance I never really embraced being a girly person. I've always been pretty low maintenance and like whatever, but I've decided that I like jewelry things and I like sparkly things and I like perfume and I've been messing around with makeup and I don't know, I feel like at 25 I'm finally embracing the fact that, you know, I like feminine stuff sometimes. I'm not just always like a tomboyish whatever goes goes kind of girl. I mean, I am, but like now I smell good. Show me something that you didn't think you would have in your life or you didn't think that you would be doing. Just like like video response below, whether it's perfume collection or books that you never thought you'd be reading or a place you never thought you'd be working. Like, let me know so I know I'm not crazy. I'm going to show you in chronological order my, my perfumes. I think DKNY Be Delicious, which smells like apple love, like green apple foresty deliciousness, which I guess is fitting for the name. Delicious. And uh, I got Sensuous, which I try to describe this to people, and the closest way, it's like when you open a Pepsi. I don't know what, like when you open a Pepsi and there's like that, it's like a spicy kind of sweet I don't know maybe I'm crazy does anyone else think I don't know does anyone have this it reminds maybe I've just had way too much pop in my life but it reminds me when I open a Pepsi and since I can't have Pepsi anymore that's what I have so this up until recently was my favorite perfume and it is called pure white linen you can't really see it but it smells like laundry and water and like, I'm sitting out on a deck on a summer night by the ocean, and there's laundry hanging. I don't know how to describe it, but it smells so good. Now I want it in my mouth. Called Very Hollywood by Michael Kors. How shiny is that bottle? It smells like 
oh my god, I don't even know, like, sweet candy and love. It's like, I don't know, it's girly, but it's not, like, sugary grossness. It's like, it's classy. It's classy. I don't know. And, um, th I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed. Obsessed. And I was told that I smelled very delicious this past week when I wore it. So, that's all I need. And from a straight man, too. Now, these I got when I was at Sephora. And, you know, buying things that I want in my life. Lady Million, which is like in this little diamondy thing. I'm going to spill this all the hell over me. That one smells like I walked into a really fancy clothing store that probably doesn't sell my size. Skinny bitch perfume. And this one I got purely because it's called Florence. And it comes in the cutest bottle ever. It looks like a bird cage or a globe of love. I feel like this one is like, I'm like traveling through Italy and I don't know. It's not as sweet as the other ones, but it's like, it's good. I don't know. I'm horrible at describing things, so this is a bad, this is a bad idea for me. Bye.